Hi, this is Jeffrey Smith. Welcome to part two of the Pole Blight. In this three minute piece, we have unknown resident that summed up what most of the people have said at the meeting better than any of us. The second part is some new drone footage of the poles actually in place. We'll hear from the public who have comments. Next person we have. Uh, I live in Dewey Beach as a full-time resident and have for the last three years. Property here for 21 years. I am, I guess, a little late coming to this party because I am just becoming aware of all this. I saw the tower over on Clayton Street. I said, what in the world is that ugly thing doing there? And then I find out you guys are going to string them up all up and down the beach. And I am absolutely floored by the fact that this can be snuck in by people without any kind of public forum, vote, referendum or something. So people can have the convenience of downloading mm -hmm. this funny cat videos on the beach whenever they want to and at the expense of screwing up the seascape for everybody that comes up and down Dewey Beach and enjoys the ocean and the beachscape. And frankly, who cares about 5G on the beach? Do we even know that the need outstrips the uh, desire of everybody on the East Coast to enjoy a lovely seascape? Or would we rather have towers scattered all over the beach dunes so that we can get a little bit of a faster reception while we're on the beach? The whole idea seems totally cockamamie, totally backwards. I'm gonna fight this. I don't know what I can do to do it, but I'm gonna start looking into this and I'm gonna fight this tooth and nail screaming all the way to the bitter end. And I'm totally opposed to this whole thing. And if they can't relocate these towers to someplace in a less conspicuous area without destroying the, the beauty of the natural seashore as we are enjoying it today, that's all I got to say. Thank you. The commissioners heard from a whole group of speakers that the polls were snuck in without any notice, no opportunity for public input, and they must be stopped immediately. Right upcoming March 22nd meeting, another opportunity to speak out. Part three, will Dewey have these polls taken out because some of them are off the easement in the wrong place and they could be removed if the town wishes to follow that course, which they need to do.